Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Now, as you guys know, on this channel, I make so many videos reviewing different courses and how they can play a role in helping you excel your career in cybersecurity or technology. And in this video, I want to share with you guys a new platform that I discovered called edX. edX is one of the leading learning platforms that was founded by MIT and Harvard back in 2012. They offer a variety of different courses and programs that also cover a variety of different subjects, and they're offered by top universities and industry leaders like Google and IBM. If you are interested in learning more about edX or checking out edX, I'll leave a link in the description below. With that being said though, guys, let me go ahead and hop into my computer and walk you guys through exactly what you guys will expect when taking an edX course when you're navigating the edX website and the platform and then also some of my recommendations that you should check out if you're looking to get yourself into cybersecurity or technology if you find any value in this video make sure you guys drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new so to start off edX has a huge learning platform that includes programs courses and boot camps these different offerings cover subjects like AI software engineering and cybersecurity just to name a few you'll also notice that a lot of their courses and programs are taught and offered by top Ivy League universities and also large tech companies this is going to be huge because once you complete these programs and courses you're gonna be able to add these to your resume and make yourself more marketable now a lot of these courses are gonna be geared towards beginners you don't need to have any prior experience but the one reason why I really encourage people to start taking these beginner level courses if you wanna transition into a new industry is because of the fact that employers like to see when you have some form of certification on your resume, even if it's beginner friendly. Even if you have an entry level certification or a course on your resume, it's gonna to show to potential employers that you're taking the time to invest in yourself, to learn more and to upskill while you're looking for a new position. So when you show these companies that you're willing to take the time to invest in yourself and to learn more, that's gonna separate you from the rest of the other applicants. And also having a big name from a top university or a big tech company is gonna make your resume even more attractive. Now on the edX website, if you're considering taking a course or you wanna just learn more about what the course has to offer, you can navigate to the what you'll learn section and from there it'll show you the syllabus, the instructors, and the ways to enroll. In addition to programs and courses, edX also offers boot camps and micro boot camps that cover a variety of different topics in technology. Now, boot camps and micro boot camps are gonna be ideal for people who don't wanna spend the four years and the money to invest into a traditional degree, and instead they just wanna go ahead and learn the skills needed in order to perform at an entry level role, and that's where the boot camps come into play. Last but not least, edX also offers a bachelor and master's degree programs offered by top Ivy League universities. So overall, edX has a huge offering when it comes to the type of course that you wanna take and also the topics in which you want to learn. So if you're someone who is completely new to the industry and you just wanna learn more about a certain topic, edX is gonna be a perfect way for you to get started. And also, if you're someone who is relatively uh, experienced in the industry, you can still find some value in edX through the master's degree programs or additional learning. Learning. Now, with that being said, I want to walk you guys through three different edX courses that I found some value from and I believe would impact my cybersecurity career and would definitely help you as well. So the first course is called CS50's Introduction to Cybersecurity. This course is going to be perfect for people with no prior experience in cybersecurity and you just want to learn more about cybersecurity and how it works. This course is going to walk you through multiple different types of cybersecurity attacks and also cover some concepts that involve firewalls, operating systems, and also encryption and hashing. It's gonna be taught by a Harvard professor and it'll take you about five weeks to complete if you study for about two to six hours per week. My second recommendation or thing to look into is the Penn Cybersecurity Bootcamp. This is going to be a 24 week bootcamp that is offered by the University of Pennsylvania and it's gonna cover multiple different aspects of cybersecurity. This bootcamp is gonna be taught by live instructors from UPenn and it's also going to include hands-on labs so that you can really test your knowledge. So the course itself is comprised of six different modules. The first one is gonna be called Security Fundamentals where they pretty much walk you through the basics of cybersecurity and why it's important. Number two is called systems administration. This is going to be walking you through things like Linux, uh, so Windows Server configuration, 
logging an Active Directory. Number three is called networks and network security. This is pretty much going over exactly how networking even works and also how to secure your network uh, through wireless security, uh, through different uh, Wireshark and traffic analysis, and also port scanning. Number four is called defensive security. So this is gonna involve skills that you would need to be on the blue team. Uh, this includes things like using Splunk, uh, monitoring and logging, incident response, forensics, and also data extraction and recovery. Number five is called offensive security. So red team uh, skills, it's gonna include using burp suite, uh, different attacks like SQL injection, cross-site scripting vulnerabilities and payloads, uh, pen testing and things of that nature. And then lastly, in module six, you'll be able to have uh, some test prep for the security plus and certified ethical hacker exam, and also some final projects that you can use to really test your knowledge and also build out your resume. Now, the third course that I recommend is the edX Try It Ethical Hacking course. This is a relatively short course and it's self-paced and it's gonna walk you through the basics of ethical hacking. This course is gonna teach you things like hacking concepts and also the cyber kill chain methodology. Throughout this course, you'll learn a couple of different skills that can be used in the real world in positions like security analyst work, pen testing work, and much, much more. Now, the main reason why I really enjoy taking courses like these from edX, especially if you're someone who is beginning in their career in technology is because of the fact that technology is so vast and there's so many different opportunities within the technology. You can utilize these courses from edX to really determine exactly what you want to do in technology and further your learning from there. Overall, I think if you're someone who is looking to advance their career in technology, especially if you're someone who is a complete beginner, edX is going to be a perfect resource for you. A lot of these edX courses are going to be taught by top Ivy League universities and also large tech companies so when you do complete these edX courses you can add them to your resume and it's going to look pretty attractive to potential employers if you're someone who is looking to break into technology or advance your career in technology platforms like edX are going to be a great way for you to continue your investments in yourself and also continue learning and upskilling to make sure that you stay marketable and stay impactful within the tech industry now if you're interested in checking out edX or the courses that I talked about in this video i'll leave a link to all those things in the description below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace